So does eating that much fruit and veggies actually make your cum taste better? I think it does. Go fruit, try some. back to the garage where we make dreams come true. So I am going to answer some questions. This is going to be a Q&A from the extreme mono fruit diet that I talked about in yesterday's video because there was a lot of comments, a lot of questions from you banana babes and I can totally understand that. There's over like a thousand comments in just like 10 hours and I totally understand why you're asking questions. Like when I first heard about this, I'm like, what the fuck? I am not doing that crazy shit. That is ridiculous. But, you know, I thought it was crazy at first too. I remember my friend Nadia, she was eating only mangoes at this picnic, my first raw food picnic that I went to. And when I first saw her doing that, I'm like, that's too much sugar. That's too much fruit. But then when I talked to her, I'm like, hmm, this sounds interesting. I might give this a go myself. And then I went on bananas after that. And it was amazing. You know, so you have to try it out for yourself. You know, don't take my word for it, prove it to yourself. It really is an awesome, safe experience because I know a lot of you are like, is it safe and everything like that? Of course it's safe, okay? I'm not saying do it for the rest of your life. Even if you did do it for the rest of your life, you'd probably be, you know, far healthier than 99.9% .9 of the population who's eating shit. You know, because a lot of you are eating junk food and processed food and stuff like that. Fruit is always gonna trump the junk food. It's always gonna be better than the junk food. So remember that. This is perfectly safe. And I know there's gonna be people out there making videos about me saying, oh, the pseudoscience, oh, freely is this and that, freely is that. You know, I've seen those videos before. But I want you to, as you're watching them, think to yourself, watch that person and go, is this person as inspiring as freely? Is this person as energetic, fit, and lean as freely? Has this person been doing a lifestyle for over a decade, like freely? Has, has this person got the experience? Are they new to YouTube? Are they just jumping on the hate wagon? You know, ask these questions. And I always say to like, take advice from the people getting the results that you desire. Take advice from those people. If you want similar results and take advice from them, the people who are getting the results long-term, remember that. Anyone can look good short-term. I mean long-term, okay? And I think I have proven that. Blood tests online, feel amazing happier than ever so the proof really is in the banana pudding okay so i know there's a lot of like you know naysayers and stuff like that but also ask the question how old is that person because i get compared to like 18 year olds all the time like oh you know 18 year old looks better than freely or something like that it's like i'm 37 this year okay i'm old enough to be the 18 year old's mother so do fair comparisons <laughs> don't compare me to some person who's still basically in high school that would be really nice, thanks. So, okay, as I said, yeah, I've been in the movement for, I mean, I've been doing this for over a decade. I do have a little bit of experience. I have coached thousands and thousands of girls um, over the years and run one of the most successful raw food forums as well. So I have experience in this, okay? So, all right, I wanna talk about like, you know, is this safe to do? Of course it is safe, okay? There's, it's so much, you know, a lot of people think, oh no, I'm not going to get enough of this, I'm not going to get enough of that, blah, blah, blah. But you have to remember that, you know, the raw food diet in general, but also like fruit, just one type of fruit, doing the mono diet is really healthy for you because you know, it doesn't contain any inhibitors, okay? Nutrient inhibitors like casein, like phytates, like tannins, all of which you will find in a lot of cooked foods. Okay, in general. So remember that they can inhibit nutrient absorption and also excess fat in your blood as well. And so that this fruit diet takes care of all of that. And that's why it optimizes your absorption and your assimilation, your assimilation of the nutrients. So you don't have to be as concerned as you think because you're going to be, there's a lot more usable nutrients that's coming into your body. A lot of it is blocked. Like your current diet, you're probably blocking a lot of the nutrients being uptake, uptaken into the cell. So the good thing about fruit is it's also high in vitamin C, which also helps absorption, particularly of iron as well. And iron is definitely um, lifestyle related as well. You gotta have a look at the like nutrient inhibitors that you are intaking in your body. You, 
in your, sorry, in your diet. When it comes to nutrient requirements, you just gotta make sure you eat enough fruit. A lot of people fail at eating enough fruit because it is difficult, especially when you're coming from a very dehydrated, you know, dry diet. So you have to make sure that you're organized, you have right fruit, you're counting how many calories that you're taking in, not because you wanna restrict, but because you wanna make sure you get enough. All right, and some people, um, have been asking about protein as well. Protein is not an issue, okay? You get all the essential amino acids you need on the diet. No problem at all. And I mean, remember that you're only doing this for a couple of weeks to a month. You know, you don't have to freak out about anything. Like I said, it is going to be healthier than 99.9% .9 of the diets out there if you do it for the rest of your life, okay? And maybe add in some greens and some nuts and seeds. That's about it. Okay, so I've got your questions here. I'm going to answer your questions now. I really want to, this is from Amber. Um, I really want to try doing this with bananas for two weeks. That's 20 bananas a day. I'm wondering, though, if that will cause constipation. Okay, so 20 bananas. I would recommend more, okay, just so you stay on track. You're really satisfied and you don't feel deprived on the diet. So I recommend more than that, but it's a good starting point. Um, you only feel constipated if you're eating unripe bananas or you're not drinking enough water. Okay, this is classic thing. Like people, I mean, I see them in a supermarket. They, they're buying these like yellow green bananas and I know they're going to go home and they're going to cut the top off and they're going to eat it like that. That is a big mistake, okay? You need spotty ripe bananas. This is so important because the starch is then converted into sugar. You don't want to be eating a whole lot of raw starch. Yes, that's going to constipate you. Okay, so you've got to make sure your bananas are ripe and spotty. Please do that for me and you will not be constipated. And if you are constipated, remember it's not the banana's fault. It's the ripeness. Okay, um, what else? What else? What else? Wash hair with mango. You can do that. Why well, not? I'm eating gnocchi. Gnocchi with veggies. Okay, so how many mangoes do you recommend per meal on Mango Island? I'm thinking of trying five days of Mango Island to mark and celebrate a bit of a life change I'm going through at the moment. Good on you, Magdalena. Magdalena. So, okay, how many bananas? I would recommend, I mean, it's different for everyone depending on your activity levels and your size and whether you're male or female and everything like that. But like I said, I recommend a minimum of like 2,100 calories because the World Health Organization says any population that is averaging below 2100 calories a day is going to run into a famine state so i can't ethically you know recommend any less than that so bananas per meal i would recommend you know they, they vary in size of course so it's better if you weigh them but i would aim to have you know 800 to a thousand or more per meal okay so really 800 or over is, is a good idea, but just get enough. I mean, like keep eating. If you feel like, oh no, I'm stuffing it in, don't even worry about it, okay? It is fruit. It's not gonna do anything bad to you. It's only gonna nourish you. So just pack it in and just relax. All is well. Um, the way she says garage is adorable. Oh, thanks. <laughs> How do I say it, garage? Is that weird? Um, must be the accent. How many mangoes do you think we should eat per day. Depends on the size again. Um, like someone answered, just figure out how many calories would equal about 2,100 cal calories or more a day. Yes, work that out. It's better not to go by individual mangoes. You really need to do it, you know, via the weight, which is better. Um, can I do Cherry Island or Grape Island? You can, and I've known people to do that. Actually, there was a woman who was on eating only grapes for like a decade or something like that. Apparently, she was super healthy. Um, you can do that, but, um, you know, they're going to be super sweet. It's going to be hard for you to eat enough. A couple of you asked, like, can I do apples? You know, can I do citrus? And, yes, a lot of people have done citrus successfully before, so you can do that. They've done um, citrus island, orange juice island. Um, apples, I would recommend against apples because they are just really hard to get enough calories from. They're so low in calories, you'll be eating, like, 50 more than 50 like apples per day to get enough so i recommend you stick with the staples like bananas mangoes i mean dates as well you can make date array like with the bananas for instance you can just do a whole lot of different things with them like banana and ice cream you can put them in a smoothie you can you know put them or like just chop them up into like a little you know soupy thing whatever you know just eat them different ways and that'll keep it exciting but after a while you find that you don't really care, you don't need the excitement with your food, and you just want more bananas. I found like when I was on Banana Island, I just wanted more and more and more bananas. I was loving it because I was feeling so good, and I just wanted to keep that 
amazing feeling. I mean, like I feel amazing now. It was kind of like to set step up, which is pretty awesome because I feel so great now. Um, freely, the links to your books do not work. Thanks, Beth. Thank you. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I mean, yeah, a couple of you wanted to do watermelon as well. Look, I, I recommend against watermelon because, I mean, I've done it for months at a time because I was actually healing from a staph infection, with, which I've talked about in the past that I got from a mosquito bite or an insect bite and there was contaminated water and everything like that. I did a video on it. But um, I did it for a couple of months and it was really good. But again, it is so difficult to get enough calories because watermelon is virtually 100% water. Okay, so you have to like pack in so much. Yes, there's some sugar in there but there's not a lot. So again, I recommend the more calorically dense fruits, like I said, jackfruit, you can do that. Um, so, does, so does eating that much fruit and veggies actually make your cum taste better? I think it does. It definitely does. It definitely, definitely does. Apparently, um, pineapple guys is amazing for the cum to taste better. So get that pineapple in there for your girlfriends, okay? But where do you get your nutrition during this from this diet? Where do you get your nutrition now? That's what I want to ask you. Like a lot of people um, are eating really poor diets and suddenly they become so concerned about nutrition, even though they're eating a whole lot of packet shit and dairy, meat and dairy and stuff like that. Honestly, this is going to be amazing for your body. You're going to get so much nutrition finally because it's not going to be blocked. It's not going to be blocked by all the inhibitors like casein, like phytates, like tannins, um, excess fat and saturated animal fat, which are blocking, you know, the, the nutrition from getting to the cell. So you're not going to worry, have to worry about that. Trust me, trust me on this. Okay. So that's my video for today. I hope that was helpful. Just remember this is safe. It's okay. It is going to make you feel better than ever. You know, you can only try it for yourself. You know, don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Okay, so that's my video for today. I hope that was helpful. I just want you to try it for yourself, okay? Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself, you know, and be open-minded. Just because you don't understand it or you've never heard of it doesn't mean it's wrong or it's bad for your body. Just because it doesn't line up with some bit of like mainstream science or something that you have doesn't mean it's bad for you, okay? It doesn't mean you have the full story. You just have to stay open-minded and remember that I've had over a decade of experience coaching people with the monofruit diet, doing it myself, and it is an amazing experience. It really, really is. So I think that's all that I need to talk about today. Um, if you have more questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Hopefully I covered a lot of them. And I was thinking about doing like two weeks on mangoes or something like that. Should I do it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to do like a, I don't know if I'm going to do it for sure though. I might not. So I don't want to get your hopes up, but I could do, you know, day one, we could do it together, day one, day two, day three, do like seven days, do a week, I don't know, it's an idea. Alright, my babes, that is my video for today, love you guys, and I will see you next video.